Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be starting a series called Back to Basics, where I go over and show you how to use some of the basic and widely used Linux software available. So in this video, we are going to be looking at Gparted and how to use it. So, let's begin. Now, as we can see here, I'm currently using Debian 11 Bullseye Edition. And if I try and do gparted, no command pound, if I do gparted hyphen hyphen version, we do not have gparted. The first thing that we need to do is we need to do sudo apt get install gparted. And this is going to give us the option to install gparted and the requisite uh, packages. And that is what we'll do. We just need to now go up to here. As we can see, issuing the version command delivers nothing, but we now have gparted installed. So what we need to do is we need to feed gparted a password. The reason we need to feed gparted a password is because we are making changes to a disk and Gparted can sometimes play funny, but it requires permissions to do so. So, let's look around Gparted first. So as we can see here on our, on our right hand side, we have uh, all of the drives listed. In my case, my one terabyte uh, NVMe drive, which is the host disk, a one terabyte spinning rust, eight terabyte spinning rust, another one terabyte spinning rust, four terabyte spinning rust, and a 16 gigabyte uh, USB flash drive, which is the uh, drive I should be using as a demonstration today. So first off, we will select here. As we can see, the label is Ubuntu uh, server. So that was the last thing that I used this drive for. I wrote an Ubuntu server operating system onto said drive. With Gparted, we can look at refresh devices. It'll just go through and rescan for all, all drives and we can then select from the drop down list here instead of here we have two ways of accessing uh, with edit we can change the operations we've already done or just clear entirely uh, we can get a show device information here so as we can see my usb stick is a sandisk cruiser glide uh, with partition table of none at the minute because it's currently has a ISO written to it. Uh, it has 255 heads to two sections slash tracks. It just goes through the general opera, um, information for it. We can also get it to show the uh, pending operations. I'm just going to leave the pending operations up. With the device, we can create a partition table or attempt a data rescue. If we accidentally over, uh, overwrote the data on the USB stick without meaning to. Um, some more information available. So for example, if I click here and then look at partition, this would then allow us to do some partition changes, change f some formatting around, and it gives a better graphical view of the drive. It's this, but in, a, in its own dedicated window. As we can see, it's also not mounted either. Uh, as well as the help options, which contains a local manual instead of a digital instead of a um, online manual. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to flatten the USB drive. So to do that, we need to do right click and we need to do a resize move. So we this should just be resizing. But what we want to do actually is we wish to reformat the drive because there's nothing we can do until we do a format because as we can see here none of these are actually engaging except for maybe some information that's just partition information so what we want to do is we want to, to format this drive to fat32 and as we can see here the green check mark just popped up so let's click that and that reverts the changes so that is unexpected but what, what what we want to do is we want to format this into FAT32. Uh, click yes and apply. As we can see here, 
uh, see more, see details for more errors. As we can see here, there was a issue calibrating it. So what we can, what we will do in this case is what it's done here is actually unallocated and just flattened the drive out entirely, which is good, which is what we want. Now what we want to do is we want to right click and we get more information. We, we get the option to do new and it says, Hey, look, you can't do anything unless you add a partition table. Now to add a partition table, you select device and then create a partition table. This will go through and select the options available for partition tables. So in this case, uh, AIX, Amiga systems, BSD systems, DVH, general partition table, uh, which we will be using, uh, Mac uh, partition tables with their journaled uh, FS, I can't remember the name of it, but it's their own proprietary one. Uh, MS-DOS, PC-98, uh, Sun Systems, Atari Systems, and Loop. But in this case, we'll just choose General Partition Table. And then select Apply, apply as we can see here. Partitions 1 and 3 on Dev SD have been written, but we've already been able to inform the kernel of the change, probably because it was in use. As a result, old partitions were in use. As we can see here, this has a partition table. So what we want to do is we want to right click, click new. And in this case, we'll just create um, a dry partition size of 4096. We're just going to call this subscribe. So if you have made it this far in the video, maybe consider subscribing. Thank you. So we'll add the subscribe. As we can see here, currently unallocated. So what we're going to do is just going to click right. It'll issue our operations. As we can see, partition name, subscribe. Because it's just chucking the, hey, look, it's done. But the operating system doesn't quite know it yet. It will then chuck the error. That also said, hey, look, there's another error. It's not saying it's been done. As we can see here, this is... Saying, hey, look, it's done, but for some reason we can't tell the computer that things have actually been done. There's nothing we can do. So what this has done is it's rolled back to its previous state. So what I'm going to do is to unplug my drive, get gparted to refresh drives, Get my USB stick, as we can see here, there is only uh, NVMe 1 through to SDD, so my drives in the system. Now I need to plug my USB drive into my computer. Start hitting the button. There we go. And now we've plugged it in. We want to hit refresh. As we can see, there's now an SDE. So what we want to do here is we now have a subscribe partition. So that did work, but because I have now unplugged and replugged the drive, it's forced the operating system to look at it and read all the changes, which is good. And now we will add a final partition. And what we will do now is we will write. Thank you. We will thank the operating system on the drive for working. Click apply. It's going to go through and it's now making a file system of uh, exe4. And it's success it was successful in its creation. Click close. It's now going to refresh because we've just done an entirely new thing to it. And we're now going to open file manager. Have a quick refresh. Um, we'll open up disks instead. So come over here, click here, and we have a subscribe and a thank you. Because the errors this chucked up before, it does not know the content. It does not know the 
uh, file system and partition table for this. It just knows it's a something. It says it's GUID, but I set it to GPT instead of GUID. As we can see here, all of these are reporting G uh, GUID except for my Windows 10 drive. But as we can see here, this has done what we want it to. So let's just click play, open this up, and we now have a functional drive. So that is how you use Gparted. And I would like to thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm tr trying out this new series of Back to Basics. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.